Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Outstanding indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have a crowd pleaser here. And when I say a crowd pleaser, I'm talking about a limited crowd because this beer, number one, is expensive and number two, it's not for everybody because they can't find it. Oh, with that said, it's from the Jackie O's Brewing Company, located in Athens, Ohio. Mmm, this is the oil of Aphrodite. The oil of Aphrodite. Oh, hey, it's brewed with walnuts. And it's aged in bourbon barrels for six months. So a really strange size, though. It's 12.7 ounces. Now, let me tell you the best part, or possibly the worst part. It's 13.5% alcohol by volume. That's right, 13.5%. So let me get my tools of the trade here. This is a Susan B. Anthony silver dollar and my bottle opener. Now, the reason I do that is I put the, the money between the cap and the bottle opener, and this way... You will not damage the bottle cap. So let me go ahead and watch what I'm doing here instead of running my mouth. Because what I do is I collect all these bottle caps. Now what did I do here? Oh, okay. I was going to say I bent it anyway. No, I didn't bend it. That's the Jackie O's bottle cap. And uh, what I do is I put a magnet on there, a super glue magnet, and then I put it on the fridge. So anyway, I haven't had this beer in a long time. Now, the appropriate glassware for this would be a snifter, but since I have Jackie O's glassware, yeah, I might as well put it to good use. We're not going to get a lot of head on this beer unless we pour it straight in, and it's not going to last even if we pour it straight in. But we'll try to make it presentable for the camera. Yeah, there it is. And as you would expect, it's extremely dark with a lovely tan head. Very, uh, very thin, though. It's not going to last. It's not going to last. Now, this beer has been out on the countertop for 25 minutes, so it's adequ adequately warmed. I can't even talk here. I got so excited with the beer, I can't talk. This is going to be a great beer. Uh, this comes out once a year. I had it last year. Man, this is a killer beer. Uh, it's not for lightweights, though. Like I said, it's 13.5%, and it's not for the faint of heart because that bottle right there is $12.50. <clears throat> you can buy a lot of beer for $12.50, right? No doubt. <sighs> what, what takes center stage here is those walnuts. Those walnuts in the aroma take center stage. This has a very nutty aroma. And it does have a nutty flavor. But remember, this is Asian bourbon barrels for six months. So we're going to get a kick in the you-know-what with that bourbon. But I want to thank the brewers. I want to truly thank the brewers at Jackie O's because they come out with some killer beer. I've got a couple more out there in the fridge. They're one-offs. Uh, they come out once a year. Man, I'm telling you, those beers are killer. And people stand in line to get those beers. I'm serious. I was lucky enough, though, that uh, my beverage store manager, or owner, I should say, knows that I love this beer, and he just put a couple aside for me, and uh, that's how I got it. But other than that, I wouldn't have it. So cheers to those brewers, and cheers to you at home, no doubt. I say this every time I drink this beer. 13.5%. Forget about it. It's not there. You do do not taste. You do not taste the alcohol. What you get is a lovely nutty flavor and aroma from those walnuts. And then the bourbon is in there. You could definitely taste it, but it's not strong. It's not strong. By the way, I've had this bottle for about three months. It's been in the refrigerator. I could leave this in there a year. It's a, a two years, three years. It's not going to be a big deal. This is Once it's aged in some kind of bourbon barrel, rum barrel, I don't care. As long as it's aged in a liquor barrel, it's not going to go bad anytime soon. Uh, you could drink this beer five years from now. It'd be just fine. 
But if you're trying to detect the bourbon in here, you're not going to do it. You're going to taste it, but the aroma is not quite there, at least in my opinion. I, I don't smell. This is so smooth and easy drinking. It's crazy. It really is. It's crazy. You can get into so much trouble drinking this and driving. Man, please don't do it. The, uh, the only thing is, though, as far as I know, this is not served in bars. It's not served on tap. I've never seen it. doesn't mean it's not, but I've never seen it. Maybe down uh, where this is brewed in Athens, Maybe at the brew pub they have it, but it would be served in probably uh, four-ounce uh, samplers. I'm betting on that. I'm betting on that, yeah. They would never serve it in a pint glass. Are you kidding me? No. And the bartender would be aware of how many you've had and go accordingly from there. Yeah, because bartenders and, and bars don't want to be uh, caught up in a lawsuit these days. Uh, who does? And this, this beer is worth every penny. Oh, man. Well, pour out that last couple drops, man. Uh, so I have to suffer until next year. The oil of Aphrodite from Jackie O's Brewery in Athens, Ohio, 13.5%. 12.7 ounce um, bottle. It's got a little story on the back here. I tell you one thing. This beer would pair well with any food. I don't care what it was. Um, it would be best with uh, a steak, uh, with, with, with a meat dish. But, man, I'm telling you, to pair this beer with any food would be a sin because it's so good. You want to taste every single drop. So I'm going to recommend that it would be a digestive. That is the beer after dinner or, or nightcap even. This will put you fast asleep. What I would recommend is that you share this with your significant other. Six and a half ounces for each person. More than enough. Six and a half ounces is more than enough. Look, I got to drink all 12.7 ounces. <laughs> I'll be passed out on the sofa pretty soon. <laughs> I better have dinner first, huh? But at any rate, uh, this is definitely a full-bodied beer. It doesn't have all that much carbonation in, but it's a great tasting beer. If you can find this in your neck of the woods, please try it. Any specialty beer from Jackie O's, you're going to love it. And it doesn't have to be a specialty beer. They make great beer all around. I never had a beer from Jackie O's that I didn't absolutely love. And that's an unbiased testimony. I don't get a penny from Jackie O's for saying that, believe me. But hey, life is short. Be happy. And that includes trying new beers like this one right here from Jackie O's in Athens, Ohio. Believe me, you would love this beer. All right, with that said, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. <laughs>